okay. I swear to God, can I at least try to make Pinocchio actually much more better than last time than I did that a few months ago? He turned into Polly Shore for some reason. <sighs> I hope this works. Come on, Pinocchio, can you become to life and please be a good boy for once? Come on, say something for once. Hi. I'm here. What is this? What is everything? What is everything? Everything is new to me. Eh, close enough. I mean, it could be worse. Polly Shore again. <sighs> now I gotta get him back. Everything's fine. Everything is new. What is this? What is this? Who are you two? What is this? Who is everybody? I'm so happy. This looks fun. Everything is fun. What do you guys want to do, huh? What's my movie? Well, I hope you saw the live action one. Well, it's time for you to do it again, but this time, Netflix style. Whee! What the hell just happened? I don't know. You're on your own now. Well, I guess I'll just start the review then. I'll just, I'll just nail it that weirdly. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, weird indeed. Hmm. Okay, let's just. Let's, let's try to make this short because I'm not explaining the other since 2022 was basically the year of Pinocchio. You already saw my review of the, the live action one. You can watch that. I'm not going to explain it myself. So I'm about to, I'll have to say this. Long story short, it sucks. Moving on. Holy short. I'm not seeing it. Duh. But the only thing we care about is. Ah, yeah. Anyways, as I was saying, now we want to get rid of this horrible version. And let's see. Can we easily see it will be the first one of them all? Yes, but anyways, let's see. Find out. This is my review. The Game of the Toros Pinocchio. You know what? The main purpose of this whole story, how are we going to do this without even doing it? Hmm. I'll try to figure out. They get right to the sad part immediately. How? Compared to the live action one? Okay, we're not comparing that right now since we know who's the knife, but in this, in Guillermo del Toro's version, we see it happen. We see Geppetto and Carlos, the son, the dead son, having fun, uh, usually having all the good stuff, until there was a, they're at a church, they walked out, and then, and then there's some planes for the war, for the Great War, and it, uh, Ended up hitting the uh, ended up hitting the nuke directly into the church where while Kyle Carlos is still in there, didn't even notice about it, and then it, it, and then the whole church exploded with him inside. So that means Carlos died from that explosion from the church. And now Japan was depressed and decided to make the boy, and then everything went down. And then you see everything going down after a while. And so yeah, basically, what am I thoughts on the story? We'll try not to compare it that much to the live action one. If, because one, this is a completely different story. Because this story, because you think you know about it, but in reality you don't. And I, I can thankfully say that the changes compared to that, compared uh, the changes here, is absolutely amazing. Let me explain. It is fucking dark, and I mean really dark. Do you want to know why? Ew! ew this is an alien like the original, and then you obviously know why. What the whole purpose of this whole message is about the leaders. The kind of leaders, everyone kind of looks like, I feel like we're in this whole world they live in is a world where Italy has their own Nazis without even saying Nazis. The proof I can say for that is they all do the seek how thing. You know, you obviously know what that's like. You, you say, you put, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean by that. Yeah, swoop up. Since I'm fucking paper, you, you paper, I can't actually do it. And also, why the hell would I do it? Do it? Yeah, uh, since we're fucking paper, how, how the hell can I do this? I can't even move. See? I, you see, this is how far I can go. Yeah. You see, I can't do it, and it's best for me not to, without getting cancelled. And I feel like this whole Nazi rubbing in, whole Nazi thing they use there, was actually the reason why they did that. It's because, uh, you know, can't die. Just letting you know that. But oh, Rose, uh, moving on. Uh, the whole thing, I think uh, a Nazi thing was used well in this movie. Not that I don't say that I like it, but I'm just saying. Oh, wow. I, I really, there's mostly everything I can say, you know? How everything works out in the story is actually good. Especially if we're gonna talk about the story, I think we should talk about the most important thing, what I think is considered the best part of the whole movie the ending. 
Let me explain. It's not like it's not like the live action. Okay, stop. We're not. I don't make any promises that we're coming into this one. You know how the live action movie ended off, right? But this one, we have an aftermath after uh, Geppetto, uh, Pinocchio literally dies one last time since he became a real boy. And what is the consequence of a real boy? He die. He now finally dies since he is immune to getting killed all the time. He died like three times. He got hit. No, uh, he got hit by a bus. He got hit by a, a, a car, and then he got shot twice. Nice. And then the bot. And then the minefield. I think once and then the minefield exploded. Good. So yeah, that's how that works. So, so here's everything. And the ending is actually really sad, and I can actually say why. Because let me explain. Pinocchio doesn't age because uh, after that, hey, I came back alive just to see him. Just because I was your pedal switch. Uh, yeah, it was Sebastian. Was Sebastian the Cricket was the one that did it, but who cares? Uh, but they actually see the aftermath, like what they go through afterwards. They all have fun, but since Pinocchio doesn't age, everyone ages. So Pinocchio actually gets us to be with them, with Geppetto, Sebastian, and that monkey. We'll get to the monkey later. They're like later on in the characters. They all they get to stay together until the death until they all die one by one. Geppetto dies first. Then Geppetto dies first. His grave is like his grave is right next to Carlos, which is they're right. Same with the monkey. Jiminy is in is in the box, which is inside you know because that's where he carries him throughout his life now. Now uh, and maybe we don't get his death. They don't we don't see Pinocchio die yet. But they say will he ever die? Who knows? Because this is his last life, so. He said, he, I don't know if he said he became a, if, since he wanted to be a, he wanted to come back, so I don't know if the immunity is back with, he's come back to him, or he's now with the one, now he has one life, now he stuck with the real boy one life thing. If he dies, he dies, now he's with them. Yeah, so that's how it works. So, anyways, that's, I, 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 yeah, that's basically what I think of the idea, and that is done perfectly. Especially how they like, do it. Also, stay in the credits because mostly, yeah, actually, the animators actually get the credits for for us, which is actually nice that they actually did that for once. And then Guillermo del Toro's dedication to his mother and father, which is all the way to the end. The credits. Just stay. Just don't. Just go on the when when the when the previews pop out. Just to, to watch where Just skip right into it. No, just skip right into that part, and then you just skip right to the end, and then you'll see it. That's how, yeah, that's how it works. So, anyways, um, overall, all I, all I can say for me is that um, while I explain most of it in the story, uh, the story here is, you know, I think I know the story, but the story here makes this great, especially what happened in the end. It completely much better than the than the live action one, one hundred percent. To be honest, how are we gonna do this, man? How are we gonna do this, huh? I mean. What do we call this? The stop motion? Or we still call it the animation? I mean, for a stop motion movie that we're, we're doing right now, only our first one, but for over 49 reviews that we've done, we're soon to our 50th soon. But anyways, what am I going to do afterwards with this Italian Nazi, Nazi stuff in this movie? Huh. Wasn't there something related to religion afterwards with this? I think that was a side thing, but whatever. Anyways, let's, all right, this, this might be our very first stop motion uh, movie that we're reviewing, because mostly how we're going to call it the animation, but we're still calling it that. For us. Probably that would be like our only one. We didn't review Wonder Woman Wilds, you know, but anyways. Um, anyways, so uh, what are my thoughts on the animation? What the hell do you want me to say? The animators recorded it, so I think that's about, that's best. I think that might boost up the rating, but anyways, overall, I think the, the stop motion here is amazing. Hey, and let me explain. I think the whole place that feels like home feels off and it feels weird and feels sad after the war and the um, Italy's Nazi stuff and then whatever stuff right here. And, and, and it's like, oh yeah, I kind of pause out for a second, but oh yeah, there's like other stuff I would mention here, but I think that will make the short because the animation here, what do you want me to say? This whole place, well, I don't think it's like a lot harder than at all. The, the, the stunning stop motion frame by frame looks amazing, and how, especially some portions. When we get to that, because when Pinocchio uh, has uh, Sebastian, the cricket, yeah, I know his name is Jiminy, but Sebastian is his full name. J, he's, the J is the Jiminy. Sebastian Jiminy Cricket. Sebastian J Cricket. Uh, that, we'll get to that later. Sebastian has, like, um, there's something right here that you know, he usually goes right here. Um, Pinocchio is, like, huge, so perfectly sort of the stop motion stuff. They made a huge scale version of Pinocchio's head 
not the whole body. If that was the whole body, I'm pretty sure the budget would have been higher. But still, though, that's how it works. But for me, I would say that is like amazing that they did that for attention to detail. Especially while you know this is like her thing, while everyone else looks like muted with this whole Nazi stuff. Because now, again, those the kind of thing. Just, you know what I mean? But whatever. So, anyway, so for me to say that I'm uh, the the whole not, the whole uh, stop motion is great and all, but. What the heck you want me to say with this? And also, this, also side note, um, uh, this some this some dark shit, uh, dark shit I never mentioned in the other about Carlos, and there was also, um, uh, oh yeah, there was the abusements, and then the hellness war, and then other shit, and then the monstro, and uh, yeah, we'll get to that later. But still, what the hell you want me to say for the stop motion? It is amazing how they did this, with especially the scaleness. The illusion, the uh, how smoothly it is, and obviously, duh. And then there's also other stuff that I can say, but for me to say that, I think uh, that one of them is, I uh, get yeah, obviously, it is yeah. Overall, I can say here is that the stop motion animation here is amazing. What the hell you want me to say to that afterwards? Huh? You know, this is kind of bad for me because my fingers can't do it. But for me to actually do it, it just don't feel right because I'm not ruining Disney once again for these characters. <sighs> what have I done with myself? Wait, what have I done? <sighs> I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it at all. If anyone asks, no, we're not doing the songs. No, since Farewell My Papa was actually the best one in the world because of how sad it is. But anyways, so just like, you know, anyways, moving on from the, what are my thoughts on the characters? Well, let's go through them all individually. Start off with... Geppetto, not Pinocchio, Geppetto, because usually we have Carlos, he has to deal with Carlos, he's depressed after that happened, and then he decided to make the boy, and then afterwards they went, and then afterwards they went, joy, and then uh, bad afterwards until all the way to his death, in the end, which, yeah, that was like sad, it was like, it's really damn sad, for me to say the least, but anyways, for me, and anyway, and there was, anyway, there's also, um, uh, the other movies that I would say, I, uh, not, not that, um, the other, there was also Pinocchio, now we get to him, yeah, lighthearted, new, everything, compared to the other Pinocchios, I think I like this one more, because it's literally if I get fucking wood, good, they can actually make, look like an actual Pinocchio, obviously the designs are kind of like, I have from the two, that, that one book from the 2000s, but, uh, yeah, but yeah, I can do that, but why? But still, anyway, still, hey, why? Nah, you can't blame him for that. And then we also got the other other characters, like Sebastian J. Crimson Cricket. I don't know why I said Crimson, but whatever. You know, he is an artist, writer, loves this. He, <coughs> he suffers a lot in this damn movie. He got hit, 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 hit so many times. How the hell did he not die from it? He died, yes, he died in the end, in the ending he died because we saw him laying down dead while the, the monkey and Pinocchio see through it all, but yeah, you can't deal with that later. But anyways, there's some other characters that we can see and then there's, all, there's some, yeah, we got other characters all the side besides those guys. We have the monkey, and the monkey, we'll, we'll get to him because we have the circus guy, the circus guy, whatever the hell his name is. Uh, he's supposed to be like uh, Stra Stromboli. But more to this too, because it actually funny enough in part of the story, Pinocchio actually goes tr go actually goes with him. Well, Pinocchio you know, in the original one, in the uh, Disney one, uh, he ditches him because he's gonna exploit. He's probably gonna start exploiting out of imagination, am I right? But anyways, um, there's yeah, but this time in this one, he actually ex he actually wants to has to do it he could just uh please his father after that uh, after him yelling calling it a bourbon or something like that yeah i think it was a bourbon but whatever it is hey, well, i'll just say this uh i think this might be a new hate uh, hate thing if anybody hates this movie and then we'll call them a bourbon yeah i think that's whatever they call it but whatever anyway that's not important yeah and then he has his own pet he has his own sidekick the monkey which just controls the puppet somehow talks while he's doing it and for some apparent reason, near that halfway, he gets fucking abused after he told, after he found out he was snitch, he was snitching to Pinocchio that everything was all a lie. Uh, he got fucking abused. We see that on camera. And yes, you see that on camera. Yeah, suck it. I think Peter would do, I think, yeah, so for, I want to show that to Peter before Peter goes ape shit over that. Yeah, but anyways, there's some other stuff happening with the other characters. Uh, yeah, there's no Honest John, there's no Gideon, just letting you know that. Yeah, and then there's also the, I don't know if I can call them villains, but I would say that the, the, there was also that church uh, priest guy. I know, so, uh, yeah, he was there. 
here, no reason. And then there was the the the, the, the son and the father, which is the leader, uh, not the leader, leader, the one that looks like King Janun that was in the puppet show that ended up shooting Minogi, which was the second death. Because his first one was when he when the the Nazi guy uh, ended up hitting him, ended up running him over here while they were fighting. They were fighting during the carnival. Everyone's like, "Oh shit! I think he's dead." Yeah, I know everybody else he can stay alive for a lot. And and yeah, that, yeah, we yeah, understand that. But anyways, then there's yeah, yeah, yeah. The Nazi guy, yeah, again, the Nazi guy to do that doesn't see how all the time, uh, along with the priest and his son, right, which yeah, they get yeah, he gets along with Pinocchio, but after. After he was looking for it, we don't see him again, which is kind of weird because we saw him get along. We saw him get along, having a, having a nice uh, friendship with uh, Pinocchio, and then afterwards, we was trying to find out while he somehow, well, Pinocchio fell down after the real war has just begun. After his uh, actual father actually he was training because uh, he wants. After he found out who both won, and then he decided kill kill the kill the puppet. If they realize he was immune, he can, he can die like three times. I know he doesn't get hit. He, he, he dies from the, the mine. I wonder if it's in monster. Speaking of which, the monster here is better. This monster here is better and gross at the same time. Because it's gross. And I love it. It was just weird for me to say that. But anyways, moving on. We got the monkey. Uh, yeah, the monkey actually turns actually joins the good the good guy, joins with Pinocchio after you know, he's trying to help him about, about it afterwards. So afterwards so he's he ended up staying with him for now for the rest of that until he dies with dies he's the last one to die a lot yeah yeah in the end so yeah you know, this whole movie just feels like maybe the aftermath don't you know what happens everyone dies except pinocchio you know we don't see pinocchio die although it would be sad more sadder if we actually see him actually die one last time but yeah, I thought they could do that but whatever anyways the, yeah the nazi guys are there just because oh uh, yeah he gets killed off anyway so you know, it's because, um, I don't know how that happened. I think it was a, I think it was the, with the bombers. Yeah, I think it was a bomb that caused that to happen. But then, well, was, yeah, that was the bomb. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah this, oh yeah, those dead scenes with these characters are gruesome. Especially with the stromboli guy, right? Stromboli guy right here. He got hit, he got hit, slammed hard in the rocks. And he, and that kind of killed, and that basically killed him. You know, and then just like the explosions, and then we already mentioned Carlos, and then the ending where everyone dies slowly, yeah. because this is like they, this is like them afterwards. And then we also one more thing, we gotta mention one character, the, the puppet guy that kind of looks like Kim Jong Un. I like these puppets, and I don't like these, and I don't like this one right here. Kill him. But yeah, he's immune. You know that. But whatever. So anyways, overall, what are my thoughts on the characters of all of them in general? They are, uh, they are great, especially the theming of this whole Na Italian Nazi soldier war thing. That's how it's going on right now. You know, this is from, I'm pretty sure it's from 30s before that's the whole World War II happened or something. It said Great War, but I don't know, they don't mention, wait, I think when they mentioned Great War, I think they meant World War One. But the Nazi stuff wasn't like, uh, until like the late 30s to 40s, especially around the World War II era, but. I would, but I would say 30s because it kind of, kind of feels like 30s, you know, whatever. Whatever. Um, anyway, so overall, I'd say the characters here are so damn uh, good. Uh, just for me to say at least. Especially how they're handled in this theming for the story alone. Uh, no. 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 How do I do this? Uh, how do we get to do this? Should I? Should I do it? Um, overall, I guess I will say no, I will not do it. Uh, we are not getting cancelled again. Uh, we can't get canceled for the second time for this shit. So anyways, I will say... Uh, we have some strong competition for a good Pinocchio. And I think we... I think we now have a strong competition, Guillermo del Toro. You know, I've now reached on par with Dis with our Disney one. So, congratulations for that. And I commend you for that. Before Disney notices afterwards. I highly doubt Disney will ever do that, but who cares. Anyways... You think you know the story about this Pinocchio, about the uh, the whole thing, you know, but in reality, you don't. So, whatever. So overall, all I can say is, yeah, I think you think that the 1940s Disney's version of Pinocchio is the best Pinocchio adaptation out of all of them. 
besides Polly Shore one, if you really count that. I think I can safely say that Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio has to be on par with the Disney one. And the reason why I say this is because this movie is amazing from start to finish. I do fucking mean it. Uh, the story here, the theme, you know, the theming of how this word story is actually different, but has its own identity. The stop motion animation is amazing for you to say the least. And then, and then the characters all fit well with this theming, with this whole Nazi, Italian Nazi, into Italy Nazi, Nazi stuff in it. But yeah, because again, see how thing, uh, whatever. And then uh, uh, overall, this was amazing to watch. If you saw this, in, I would say if anybody who saw this in theaters, all I can say you guys are lucky you saw saw that early because we have to wait for this to happen. And all I can say for my recommendations, watch it, uh, watch it, watch it, watch it. Forget about the other two movies. Forget about Polish Shore. Forget about the live action one. Watch this one instead. This one is the best one out of those three. Uh, those three out of all those those three movies, Polish Shore, live action. Or Guillermo del Toro's, I would say Guillermo del Toro is the one that you should watch. I, if you're sincere with Nazi, just watch it and you'll understand why it, why this is needed. So overall, my rating, uh, I was gonna say a nine out of ten, but I would say what they did in the credits is um, is amazing, and the ending, what they did with the ending and the animators actually giving credit first and then the dedication, I would say for me, I can't believe the same. This might be our first animated film. To actually reach a 10 out of 10 in our rating. Because the only, the only, I'm pretty sure the only three movies that we have is a 10 out of 10 are mostly live action. And it's with Spider Man was our first one. Then we have Batman and then maybe Wakanda Forever or I think Wakanda was a 9 out of 10. I don't feel like checking right now, but can I check it right now? I think you all can watch the video, watch the review yourself if you actually want to see it, what my review was. But overall, I would say this one was actually incredible. This might be one of the best animated films of 2022. And we're near the end. At least I haven't got Puss in Boots yet. Or Avatar. And that was too, uh. And then that Grinch Party. And then Violet Night. Yeah, whatever, any of those movies. And I think this one was the best one. The best one. The best movie to end off the year. This is some Boots, but still though. This movie was just incredible. Make this movie, get this movie to win the Oscar. I swear to God. This movie needs to win an Oscar for Best Animated Feature. I swear to God. We need to win. This movie should win. Alright? This should win. Alright. I guess that's it for the review. Now I gotta go. Yeah. Hey Mickey, you know what's the best part about all of this? Yeah, what's this? Our this we are on this is our 49th review. So soon we might we might have our 50th review. We've been doing this since 2019. Actually, you done your first review was Toy Story 4, and then after the SpongeBob the special, I decided to take over, and then after 2021, now I do the reviews and decides you do the intermissions. Yeah, I know that. Uh, we have changed a lot. Not for the better, but still. Ah, that was fine. So, what are we gonna do with them afterwards? Hey, we'll do with them. So, where's our 50 years review gonna be, anyways? Avatar or Puss in Boots? Ah, whatever we are. But I think, I think we should do something special for that and for special. What do we do that? A new intro. Really? Yes. And I know how to do it. What are we gonna do? Remember one of your videos mentioned one of the policy trailers? Recording? I think we should do an intro, have that music they use, have that in an intro. So we should might use that soon. Oh, that should be nice. How do you think that work? Yeah, I think that would be nice. Huh? Oh, everything is fun. Everything is fun. Man. Oh, hey, daddy. What do you want to do? I'm dying right now. No. Oh, well, we're not trying to make this, uh, so we don't want to be souls right here, but, ah, my time has come, man. Uh, uh, the, the Pinocchio era for 2022 is over. And it's time for me to say goodbye. All right. Thank you for Polish Shore. Thank you for the live action one, not really. And thank you for giving me the tours. Thank you for everything. And I'll see you on the other side. Ah. No! Well, thanks for having me. Pinocchio, the year of 2022. The year of Pinocchio, everybody. Thank you, Geppetto, for everything. And thank you. Ah, uh, for everything, Jiminy. <sighs> and now it's time to watch Guillermo del Toro's and the original Disney movie. Because I know these two are much better compared to the other two. Polish Shore and live action.